Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, we're in Colossians chapter 2, verse 13 today. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and open up and turn with me to Colossians 2, 13. I mean, one of the most amazing portions of Scripture, I think, in the Bible. One I keep coming back to, and I, I pray you're blessed by it today. I'm just going to say a couple words, and I would just really encourage you just to read reread, uh, let it sink in, and give God the time and space to speak to your heart through these verses. Father, thank you for these verses, and we do just, um, we don't want to just roll over them like they're a speed bump, God. We want, we want these words to really penetrate our hearts, to percolate into the soil of our being, and God, to have an influence over us. And so, we pray that you would do that today in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, Paul says, And you who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of death that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross, he disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in it. I mean, you know, it's just uh, it's a it's it's just a beautiful portion of scripture. And, and honestly, like I feel, the more words I say, the more I could take away uh, from what's said here. But I just want to say a couple of things, right? Paul is talking about this just glorious marvelous thing that's happened in their life, this radical transformation, this um, reality that they were all together new creatures in Christ. And, you know, they were once dead, spiritually dead. Why were they spiritually dead? Well, because of their trespasses. Those things that they had done that were contrary to, you know, the righteous expectation of God, breaking God's moral law, and the uncircumcision of their heart. In other words, um, their hearts weren't focused on and worshiping God. This is the natural state, by the way, that we're born in. Like, we're, we're not born naturally as worshipers of God. It's the opposite. We're born spiritually dead. Um, we're born with a disposition of rebellion towards God. And, and Paul, like, lays out the only thing that's able to bring that change in our life. The, the biblical word is regeneration, right? The spirit that was dead in our life is made alive. Um, and it's dead because, you know, we inherited uh, a dead spirit through Adam because of the original sin, but also because of our own trespasses. We can't just blame Adam or our parents or the circumstances of our life and because we didn't have opportunities like other people had opportunities. No, uh, there's an ownership piece in here, right? I mean, the spiritual deadness and the rebellion against God is our responsibility uh, to take ownership of. But what changes that in our life is the cross of Christ because it's at the cross that, that Jesus won the victory over principalities, over powers, and also over the righteous demands of the law. Now, remember with me, um, it's not that uh, the sacrifice of Christ was in conflict with the law. It was a fulfillment of the law. It was the perfect life of Jesus. You know, Jesus did for us what we could not do for ourselves. And the handwriting of debt that was against us, all of the sins that we've ever committed. Think about that, right? I mean, you and I don't even know how many sins we've committed, how many infractions against God, you know, in thought, in attitude, in action, all of those things are listed. God can't not, this is a double negative, God can't not see them. God sees everyone. And when he died in our place, the punishment that we deserve for our sin, the justice, let me just use that word, it's a better word, the justice that we deserved for our sin was levied upon him. And all of those sins that we had committed as we put our faith in the, the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ have been expunged, they've been washed away. The biblical word here is forgiven. He has forgiven us all of our trespasses, every single one, past, present and future. And what seemed to be 
from the world's perspective, uh, a loss, you know, a failure. That's what the world during the crucifixion perceived this event to be. As Jesus was crucified, everyone perceived this to be just a, a massive failure. It in fact was the opposite. It was a glorious victory. Today, just reflect on the reality of that, that it's the victory of Christ on the cross. It's what he did. It was when he said to the Father, it is finished, and he was saying, it's all done, right? You put your trust and faith in me, it is all settled. You're standing before God. All those debts that had piled up against you have been washed away and forgiven. God remembers them no more and does the, doesn't even account them to you. And so you have this beautiful standing, victorious standing, you went from death to life through faith in Jesus Christ. Man, just let that sink in today and let that produce a gratitude within your heart for all that he has done for you. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.